Welcome back to the Real Estate News. Joining me now is Bill Fletcher with Unisource Mortgage Services. Welcome, Bill. We're happy to have you with us today. Always great to be with you, Jen. So it's so timely that you're here because we talked a little bit during the headline portion of the show about some of the changes happening. There's a lot going on in the mortgage industry right now. So can you share with us, give us an update on the changes? Well, it's certainly true. We have two uh, fairly big changes coming into effect in October. Okay. Uh, one's going to only affect a certain portion of consumers, and that would be with those clients who are seeking 100% financing through USDA. Okay. USDA is increasing their guarantee fee from 2% to 2.75%. Okay. The second big change, which is really the biggest change yeah. in the industry to come down the pipe in a long time, is uh, TRID, T-R-I-D, which stands for the TILA RESPA Integrated Disclosure. And this is really an enhancement to disclosure requirements that are already in place uh, to make things more transparent for the consumer. Sure, and essentially it's, you, you just have to change the way you disclose the loan you know, to the consumer. Change so, the way you disclose it, change when you disclose it. Okay. In some, some cases it's gonna be very similar to what RESPA outlines already. Okay. But if there are changes during the process uh, in underwriting, if the loan amount changes, if the interest rate changes, that's gonna trigger new disclosure requirements, or I should say re-disclosure requirements, right. that uh, require a specific time frame to elapse before the consumer uh, can consummate the transaction. And the, the, obviously the intention is to benefit the consumer, you know, I mean, that's the ultimate goal here. Absolutely. There, there's nothing to fear right. uh, with regard to, is this going to make it harder to qualify for well, a mortgage? Well, that was going to be my next question. Is, is there any impact on the borrower's ability to get a mortgage? Does it make it harder? Or Not at all. It doesn't affect that portion of the, of the loan package at all. Uh, okay. Again, with USDA, it's simply a, an increase in cost which is certainly passed on to the consumer. But again, it's nothing that they bring to closing in sure. cash. It's simply financed into the loan. And then with TRID, it's simply uh, a, a new redisclosure requirement that's being put on uh, lenders and loan officers during the process. Okay. Now, another thing that has almost become a sport, a leisure sport, is watching interest rates. So tell us, there's, there's, there is some movement. We've all been watching the, the pot waiting for it to boil, right? But there's, there's some indications that things are happening. Yeah, you know, week over week, we're up about a sixteenth of a percent on the 30-year fix. So if it was at 4% last week, it's at 4.06% okay. uh, this week. It's not a huge change, but we're starting to see it hold at that level, which means over the last three weeks, the average 30-year fix has remained above 4%. Okay. Now we're still, so that's a change. we're yeah. still below where we were a year ago, but I would certainly expect in the weeks and months to come that we're going to eclipse that level. Okay. So Bill, it's always a pleasure when you're here. You're definitely an expert at what you do and thank you for, for your time and keeping us updated. Thank you, Jen.